The year changing is going to change what uh, state we're in right now. Uh, I think the best thing we could try to do is just try to, you know, rely on these protocols as best as possible and, and uh, be careful around each other. Ryan didn't really say much to us about it when we asked, but how much, knowing him, how much do you think it will mean to him if you guys can win the division and beat this former team Sunday? Uh, Honestly, I think that his goals is all, are always the same. Uh, you know, he might not understand the, how sweet it is until after the game. But, you know, he's just down to try to win the game and try to be here for the Titans. Um, it's a little different going back to your old team and, uh, and beating them, and you, and you don't know how good it feels until after it's over. If there's any silver lining to, to COVID run, Get maybe some extra rest for the shoulder and neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You try to try to get some type of silver lining out of that, and and yeah, I think I think giving myself just a little bit more to rest uh, with that is, has been helpful. Um, of course, you know, don't know how it's going to work out until I get that first hit. Um, but I'm doing everything possible to try to keep myself out on the field. What do you think of uh, Dylan as you, as you watched him on Thursday night, Dylan Hey, Dylan did exactly what you expect him to do. Um, as a rookie, you know, going out there and being able to play hard, you know, making some mistakes here and there, but just constantly staying focused and staying on the path. Don't worry about another another play. Nothing got out of hand, and we were able to come out with a win. So I was very happy for him. Hey, Rod, you've had like seven different line combinations this year in terms yeah. of the offensive line. I mean, is there ever a time you feel like, okay, you know, we feel like we're going to get healthy at this time? Is, is, there, is that the hope? I mean, it's just been such a crazy year with, with everything. Um, at this point, it's been prepare for the worst and hope for the best. So, you know, whatever tends to happen, we're just trying to get ready to play, uh, get five guys out there that know what they're doing and are going to play hard. And then if we get everybody that we want back and get our whole line together again, let's just take advantage of the opportunity that we have because, Every Saturday, it feels like somebody has to come up from either practice squad or a guy that's been a backup for a while who hasn't seen a lot of playing time come up and play. Uh, but that's been all over the team. You talked about so the Brian probably would enjoy it afterwards if you guys went on Sunday beat the team. Is that kind of what you felt when y'all went out to Los Angeles? Yeah, yeah, that's actually, that's actually what I was just talking about. It was the same way, same deal. You had mentioned uh, Tannehill's uh, toughness, you know, with that and one last year against yeah. Jacksonville. Just as an organization, as, as a team, like how much does that resonate with you Apple, like you said. Uh, You know, it just it displays, you know, the, the, the heart of the Titan. And, and honestly, you know, with, with the way that our team plays and the way that we're structured from the head coach and the GM all the way down, I mean, it's perfect for us. It works. It fits. How much does that help, kind of that from the top down mentality throughout this whole season with all the – things that have been thrown at you guys because it feels like with as much as that happened you guys have stayed together as a, uh, as a team. Uh, it, it goes it goes far, but honestly, it, until the, the regular season is over, our work isn't done yet. So, you know, we're going to measure up what that really means until the season is over and getting into these playoffs. Roger, the, the math is super simple now. Win Sunday, you clinch a second straight division title. How nice is it to know exactly what's on the line Sunday? Oh, man, we knew it was on the line last week. Uh, you know, hoping that the Cardinals are going to pull out a win. But, you know, of course, you know, it's in our hands and, and we can control it and that's the way that we want it. <laughs> so, you know, They've got like 14 guys in sacks. What's it like to deal with that Uh, Just got to handle the pressure. You know, they bring a lot of pressure. They do a good job of watching the quarterback's eyes and being able to jump up and tip ball. So we're just going to have to be aggressive and we're going to have to really uh, be fundamentally sound in the pass protection game. Right, I'm sorry if you this early, but as, as the virus spread in the offensive line room, now you're back, Taylor's back. What's that been like? And, 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 when something like that's going on, you're almost nervous after you test it. Uh, honestly, honestly, it's just, it was a shock. It was a shock to me at first. And then the starting seeing guys go down here and there. You know, of course, with a, with a victory on Thursday, we're glad that it happened uh, before rather than sooner than, rather than later. And, you know, uh, with the new protocols getting these guys back. So, yeah, you can breathe a little bit easier knowing those things.